Hey everyone, I hope that you have taken time to take a look at the Good Samaritan, Who is My Neighbor, and have done some work around that parable. And I want to see what you're building. I want to see those Lego builds and wiki stick builds. And let me know what you're doing. I miss, I miss seeing all of you and catching up with your week. I miss seeing the parents and catching up with just what's going on. And I think for me, that's been one of the hardest things about this time of pandemic and not being together. This week for September 20th, our parable is the mustard seed. And Miss Maddie has told the Godly Play story and there's a book called The Marvelous Mustard Seed, which is a wonderful story. Thank you again to Flyaway Books who have allowed us permission to use those stories. And I love this story because it's a reminder that the tiniest of things can have a huge impact. And I know Pastor Jeff has done children's sermons on the mustard seed and has shown you all mustard seeds. These things are tiny. It's like grain of sand tiny. And so it's amazing to think that something so small can have such a big impact. Yet I will guarantee you, you know those things too. If you've ever left one of the tiniest Legos on the floor, it still hurts when you step on it. I know, we have that at my house. But think about small things that you do. Think about when you have held a door open for someone or just smiling at someone. I think sometimes we forget that those small everyday things can make a huge difference in people's lives. And so I think particularly right now, uh, as where people are separated, and I know school has been online for many of you, that it's just things are weird. I know teachers are really working hard to try and help kids learn. Small things, like can you write your teacher a note? Have your parents email it, or even better yet, handwrite it and find a way to scan it or mail it to them, or have your parent take a picture of it and send it to them. Just let your teachers know that you're thinking about them and that you appreciate that. Who are other people? Maybe a phone call to a relative or to a friend. Maybe you can FaceTime with a friend. That Those little things of reaching out and saying hello and I miss you. Those are ways that we can do little things that have a big impact. One of those I want to tell you is one of our church members here at Southminster a couple weeks ago called me on the phone. And he and his wife have a, a daughter in the youth group. And he said, I just was thinking about you. And so I wanted to call and check in. And it was such a nice gesture. He's, he just gave me a phone call out of the blue. It was great to talk to him. And just to feel heard and feel seen. So I invite you this week to think about the mustard seed. What are the tiny things you can do that make a big difference?